Hello everyone. Uh, this is the third attempt today. For some reason, Facebook Live does not seem to be uh, liking me reading Psalm 18 today. Um, but we'll try it one more time. Uh, so yeah. Hi everyone. Welcome to today's afternoon Bible study and devotional. Uh, today we'll be reading through Psalm 18. I invite you to grab your Bibles, read along with me as we read through Psalm chapter 18. Uh, before in chapter 17, uh, what did we read? We read um, a prayer of David, which really seemed to be like, hey, um, you know, there's people that are seeking their reward here in this world. Uh, there are, you know, leaders who are cruel and evil, but Lord, I'm focusing on you and you've brought the right people into my life. Um, and Lord, I know that you will rescue me, whether it's here in this life or in the next. And that leads us into 18, where David is rescued in this life. And this is a song of uh, praise, a song of prayer, a song of thanksgiving for being rescued from his enemies, including Saul. Um, one of the times I tried to read this, I tried to sing it. I'm not going to do that now. Uh, but yeah, I invite you to grab your Bibles, read along with me as we read through Psalm chapter 18. Um, I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. Uh, I'm reading out of a physical Bible. If you don't have a physical Bible, you know I'd love to try to hook you up with one. Um, but uh, BibleGateway.com, the Bible app, two fantastic resources. And um, I'm going to take a sip of coffee and then jump into Psalm chapter 18. <clears throat> I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield with the power that saves me and my place of safety. I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise and he saved me from my enemies the ropes of death entangled me floods of destruction swept over me the grave wrapped its ropes around me death laid a trap in my path but in my distress i called out to the lord yes i prayed to my god for help he heard me from his sanctuary my cry reached his ears then the earthquake then the earth quaked and trembled the foundations of the mountains shook they quaked because of his anger smoke poured from his nostrils fierce flames leaped from his mouth glowing coals blazed forth from him he opened up the heavens and came down dark storm clouds were beneath his feet mounted on mighty angelic beings he flew soaring on the wings of the wind he shrouded himself in darkness veiling as he approached with dark rain clouds the thick clouds shielded the brightness around him and rain down hail and burning coals. My screen just went blank and I don't know what is up. I really do not know what is up. Well, unless something changes, I'm going to continue. Um, so verse 14. Uh, he shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. Great bolts of lightning flashed, and they were confused. Then, at your command, O Lord, at the blast of your breath, the bottom of the sea could be seen, and the foundations of the earth were laid bare. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. 
They attacked me at the moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not turned from my God to follow evil. I have followed all his regulations. I have never abandoned his decrees. I am blameless before God. I have kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me for doing right. He has seen my innocence. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To those with integrity, you show integrity. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the crooked, you show yourself shrewd. Because the you rescue the humble, but you humiliate the proud. You light a lamp for me. The Lord my God lights up my darkness. In your strength, I can crush any, uh, I can crush an army. With my God, I can scale any wall. God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to him for protection. For who is God except the Lord? Who built our Lord is a solid rock. Who, who but our Lord is a solid rock. God's, God arms me with strength. And he makes my way perfect. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, enabling me to stand on a mountain heights. He trains my hands for battle. He strengthens my arm to draw a bronze bow. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand supports me. Your help has made me great. You have made a wide path for my feet to keep them from slipping. I chased my enemies and caught them. I did not stop until they were conquered. I struck them down so they could not get up. They fell beneath my feet. You have armed me with strength for battle. You have subdued my enemies under my feet. You placed my foot on their necks and I have destroyed all who hated me. They called for help but no one came to their rescue. They even cried out to the Lord, but he refused to answer. I ground them as fine as dust in the wind. I swept them into the gutter like dirt. You gave me victory over my accusers. You appointed me ruler over nations, people I don't even know who uh, now serve me. As soon as they hear me, they submit. Four nations cringe before me. They all lose their courage and come trembling from their strongholds. The Lord lives. Praise to my rock. May the God of my salvation be exalted. He is the God who pays back those who harm me. He subdues the nations under me and rescues me from my enemies. You hold me safe beyond the reach of my enemies. You save me from violent opponents. For this, O oh Lord, I will praise you among the nations. I will sing praises to your name. You give great victories to your king. You showed unfailing love to your anointed, to David and all his descendants forever. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading of Psalm chapter 19. Once again, my screen has gone blank. I don't really know exactly what's going on. Um, but I will you know, say a couple things that happen. I will admit... I have been distracted. Uh, technical issues, yay. But um, with that reminder, and as I was reading this, I was reminded that God is a solid foundation. That, yes, I'm getting, you know, this blank screen, but David doubles down on that rock metaphor. That rock metaphor is something that comes up a lot through Scripture, and it really stood out to me. In verse 2, it says, My God is my rock, whom I find protection. So the rock is that foundation that also provides perfect uh, protection you know do we want to build our our our, our 
combs on sand um, and, or, you know, on a solid rock, that is the foundation. Uh, and then in verse 46, you know, he doubles down, the Lord lives, praise to my rock. May the God of my salvation be exalted. That idea of that rock. Uh, so one of the big metaphors back then was like the chaotic waters of life can yeah. swallow us and are dangerous and can do all that sort of thing. But God is the rock amongst the chaotic waters. So we need to, as we go through the chaotic waters of life, we need to have that firm foundation, which is Christ. I think that's a really cool thing. and something that David doubles down on, even with all of the troubles that have been going on. Uh, a couple of the other verses that stood, up to, stood out to me, um, you know, David, he, with everything that's going on and everyone being like, well, the king's, you know, so many people were like, you're doing evil, you're doing evil, you're doing evil. Look at how you're going against Saul. He's like, I have not gone against Saul. Saul's been lying, but I've been staying focused on Christ and I have not wavered. I have not turned from my God to follow evil in verse 21. In verse 24, he go, he's talking about the Lord because the Lord has seen his innocence, seen David's innocence. And really, he sees our innocence too. Um, and that's a reminder for ourselves and for our enemies, right? God knows us. He knows the guilty part of us. He knows the innocent part of us. And then this next section, I think, is really interesting too, right? Uh, verse 25 to 27. He's faithful to the faithful. Uh, shows integrity to those who show integrity. It's pure to those that are pure. But then the other side of it, those who are crooked, he'll be shrewd, right? I thought that was interesting. Then he rescues the humble, but humiliates the proud. Um, it's kind of one of those interesting things where it's like, when we go go and put God, good out into the world and we like actively show love to others like and we follow through that golden rule god is in that and that comes back to us in good ways but when we're acting just in self-interest and we're being you know really prideful and manipulative and crooked well that comes back to us as well right and um so to me this is just kind of showing how god you know help that golden rule be guided and followed through on. Um, the last little bit is that God is our light. Jesus is the light of the world who stepped down into darkness. Um, and I like the whole, yeah, it's cool. So like, yeah, God is our light and he lights our path and that's kind of all there too. But this is before Jesus and before Jesus kind of came onto the scene and was born into the world. You know, there's this shroud of darkness and mystery about him that is described essentially from verse 7 all the way down to verse 15. And then, you know, like God is the light of the world. But now that we have Jesus, that shroud of darkness is gone. He illuminates the darkness of this world. And I just thought that was really cool. And that's one of those things that stood out to me. Uh, what are the big take homes from this? There's a, a lot of little things, a lot of big things. Um, that are the takeaways from this, but I think one of the big things is one, we need to stay focused on God and two, we might need to th just thank God more for the good things. I know I'm great at bringing him the junk and sometimes with the good things, I just go, Hey, thanks God. And that's about it. No, I need to do better. I need to do better. Perhaps we need to do better. Let us pray. AJC, awesome Jesus Christ, help us to stay focused on you. Help us to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with you. I thank you that we know you, Lord, that no longer are you shrouded in this mystery, but you have come forth as Jesus. This Bible is now written in our language, and we can read it and get to know you better and better and better. We can pray and get to know you better and better and better. You bring leaders into our lives that know you well, that we can follow them as they follow you, as we follow you, as we follow them. You bring friends and companions along our sides, even enemies that reveal you, you to us just that much more, Lord. And yes, we are broken people. We have all fallen short, but we can do amazing things through you. So Lord, help us to trust your light as you light our path and guide us. Help us to reflect your light in the darkness that is around us. 
Help us to have the fruits of the Spirit come forth from us. Help us, Lord, to turn to you with thankful hearts. Because, Lord, you have done so much for us. I thank you for yesterday. Yesterday was a really, really good day. Perhaps one of the best days I've had in a long time. And it started off with getting into your word. And it just got, not better, but just, it continued to stay good and good and good, Lord. So I thank you for yesterday. And may you use me and us to glorify you today. Thank you for calling us. Thank you for using us, Lord. Thank you for being awesome. I thank you that I have money for the new shoes, that my foot is continuing to heal, that I could get it looked at. I thank you that, you know, um, I thank you for so much stuff, Lord. I thank you for forgiving me, for guiding me, directing me. And I thank you that uh, even if this video is not loaded, that I still have this time with you, Lord. In your name. Amen. Amen. So, yeah, I have no idea if this video is actually being recorded or not. If it did, awesome. If not, uh, I guess I'll do it tomorrow. Um, and if not, you have no idea that I'm talking right now. But anyways, if this does work, have a great day. God bless. Bye.